write down one more question which was asked in one of the recent uh, ICI publications. Question write down compute economic value added of good luck limited from the following information. Compute EVA of good luck limited from the following information. You are given profit and loss statement rupees in lakhs. Then start writing little fast A income. Under income, they have given revenue from operations. Revenue from operations 2000. B expenses. Direct expenses 800, indirect expenses 400, point C, profit before interest and tax, profit before interest and tax, you can write PBIT, A minus B, 800, then point number D, point number D, interest point number d interest 30 point number d interest 30 point number e pbt c minus d c minus d seven seventy Point number F tax at the rate of 30 percent. So, underline tax rate also, you got tax rate here 30 percent. 231 profit after tax 539 profit after tax 539. Then write balance sheet, balance sheet right hand side rupees in lakhs. Balance sheet rupees in lakhs, equity and liabilities, equity and liabilities, under that shareholders funds, shareholders funds, equity share capital 1000, reserve and surplus 600, reserve and surplus 600. Point number B, non-current liabilities, non-current liabilities, long-term borrowing, long-term borrowing 200, C, current liabilities 800, current liabilities 800. Total 2600. Total 2600. Then write down assets. Under assets, write down A. Non current assets. Non current assets 2000. Non current asset 2000. Current asset. 600 total 2600 other information other information cost of funds cost of debts cost of debt is 15 percent cost of debt is 15 percent cost of equity that is shareholders expected return is 12 percent shareholders expected return is 12 percent three tax rate tax rate is 30 percent tax rate is 30 percent four bad debt provision 
बैड डेट प्रोविजन ऑफ रुपीज फोर्टी लैख इज इंक्लूडेड इन इन डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस इज इंक्लूडेड इन इन डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस एंड रुपीज फोर्टी लैक्स रिड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम रिसीवल्स इन करंट एसेट एंड रुपीज फोर्टी लैक रिड्यूस फ्रॉम रिसीवल इन करंट एसेट्स सो दैट इज अ न्यू एडजस्टमेंट बैड डेट प्रोविजन ऑफ फोर्टी लैक इज इंक्लूडेड इन इन डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस सो आई विल गो हेयर एंड टिक मार्क इन डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस सो वट आई डू इफ आई एक्सक्लूड दैट बैड डेट प्रोविजन इट इज जस्ट अ प्रोविजन मेड बाय द कंपनी नॉट अ रियल कॉस्ट सो देर फॉर इफ आई एडजस्ट इट इट विल बिकम थ्री सिक्सटी सो माई पी बी आई टी विल गो अप बाई फोर्टी सो पी बी आई टी विल बिकम एट फोर्टी नाउ सो फॉर नो पैट कैलकुलेशन आई एल मेक एन एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोविजन एंड आई एल टेक एट फोर्टी इंस्टेड ऑफ एट हंड्रेड and similarly in the balance sheet this current asset which is 600 is after deducting provision should become 640 and therefore my capital employed will increase by 40 my capital employed will increase by 40 so i just have to make two adjustment here pbit increase by 40 capital employed increase by 40 and then the problem is very very easy right so let us just quickly go through the question you are given a pnl account then you are given a balance sheet cost of debt is given cost of equity is given but this question is not clear whether this cost of debt 15% is a before tax or after tax so we will assume it is a before tax cost of debt so i need to deduct 30% tax that will give me 10.5% cost of equity same figure will take so this will help us to calculate the wacc and then we'll calculate no pat we'll calculate eva so a very easy question drafted in a different format where the full balance sheet and the full pnl account was supplied to you so first we will write step number 1 adjusted no pat the profit figure we are adjusting for some provision made by the company so for accounting purpose it's okay but for eva purpose we need to make adjustments of the provisions made serial number particulars rupees in lakhs was it lakh or crore yes lakhs so first point a write down pbit given pbit given is 800 one adjustment is required for provision for bad debt so i will write add back provision for bad debt 40 provision for bad debt 40 adjusted pbit adjusted pbit a plus b 840 840 and point d less tax now directly deduct tax from pbit 30% is 252 and therefore no pat c minus d 588 588 is the answer right 588 seems to be right now write down cost of debt after tax cost of debt after tax i into 1 minus t 15 into 1 minus 0.30 10.5% formula calculation and answer 10.5% step 3 cost of equity given 12% cost of equity given 
then write down WACC source amount weight cost weight into cost source write down equity equity is 1600 from the balance sheet equity is 1600 long term borrowing is 200 long term borrowing is 200 this is based on your actual fundraising exercise. You have raised 1600 and 200. Then weights write down 16 by 18. 16 by 18. 2 by 18. Cost 12 percent given. 10.5 percent we have calculated. So weight into cost weight into cost 10.67 percent 10.67 percent check the calculation 1.17 percent and 11.84 percent approx 11.84 percent approx now write down step number five Operating capital employed. Operating capital employed. Operating capital employed, right hand side rupees in lakh. Point number A. Total capital employed as per step 4 was 1800. Total capital employed is 1800, but then if I add back provision for bad debt, add back provision for bad debt, that is 40. So point number C will be operating capital employed, A plus B, A plus B, that is 1840. So while calculating EVA, we will use this figure. 1840. Now step number 5 we have done 6. EVA. Right hand side rupees in lakhs. Point number A. No pat. Step 1. No pat step 1. 588. Please go and check. 588. Point B. Operating capital employed. 1840. 1840 WACC Step 4 11.84 percent 11.84 percent C capital charge Capital charge Multiply B into C 1840 into 11.84 percent 1840 into 11.84 percent to 17.856 therefore EVA A minus D EVA A minus D 370.144 lakhs right so this answer is over